When a device connects to an 802.1x enabled port, the switch sends an EEP request identity frame. If it doesn't receive a response within the timeout period, it will send another EEP request identity frame, and this process repeats based on the .1x max reauth rec value as well as the timeouts. Now, if you have clients without a supplicant, you may want to adjust these values in order to control the amount of time that passes before a failback mechanism such as MAB or WebAuth is used. This video will show you how to create a template to set the .1x max reauth rec value while provisioning a switch. So in order to do that, we're gonna create a template. So I'm gonna click on Tools and then Template Editor. When the editor comes up, I'm gonna create a new project by clicking on the plus sign and click Create Project and I'll call this .1x reauth. reauth. Now that I've got the project created, I'll go ahead and add a template by clicking on the sprocket and Add Template. And I'll call it max reauth uh, request. And I have to select the device type. So I want this applying to all my 9300 switches. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow and go down to 9300 and select the Cisco Catalyst 9300 switch. And then click back to add template. And then I'll select the software type is going to be iOS XE. And then I click add. Now that I've got the project and the template created, I'll go ahead and add the template itself. So what I want to do is I want to do a loop. I want to loop through all my interfaces and choose specific interfaces to apply this value to. So in order to do that, I'll do for each and then it'll be interface and, and then this will be the list of interfaces, so I'll type interfaces as that variable. And this will allow me to select individual interfaces when I go to provision. So then I'll type interface dot interface, oh, interface, and then interface dot port name. That will get me into the interface configuration mode. And then I'll just type dot one x max reauth request and then I will type in another variable here called value and that'll allow me as a user to select any value I want when I go to provision. I could hard code it but it's nice to have the flexibility to add it later if I want to change it. And then I'm just going to end out of my for loop and then actions and save. Now this list of interfaces, I want to get this list from the switch itself. So what I'll do is I'll click on the form editor and with interfaces highlighted, I'm going to go down and click bind to source. I'm going to choose the inventory and the interface. And then actions and save. Actually, uh, before we do that, I'll, I'll go ahead and put a default value for uh, the value here and typically the default value is 2 so I'll just go ahead and add 2. That'll put it to the switch's default value. Now, if you don't have it in there it'll just force you to put a number in there. Uh, by using this, this number will be pre-populated but you can change it while you're provisioning. So I'll just go ahead and set the default value to 2 and then action save and then actions commit and I'll commit the changes. Now that I've created my template, I do have to add this to a network profile so that I can use it to be pushed out to a switch. So to do that, I'll go to Design, Network Profiles, and I want this going underneath the Site 1 profile. I already have this assigned to, it looks like, eight different sites, and so I'm just going to edit this profile. And this will be a day end template, so I'm just going to click the Add button. And for the device type, I am going to choose my 9300 switches, which is this one right here. And then I'm going to add the template that I created earlier right there. And then click Save. Now that the template is created and added to the network profile, I can go ahead and provision my switch. I do that by clicking on the Provision button. 
and selecting the switch that I want to provision with the new settings. And this one's going to be Site1E, which stands for Edge 9300. So I select that switch and Action, Provision, Provision Device. It's already in the right location. I'm going to click on Next. I'm going to highlight my template. And here's where I'm going to choose the interfaces. So I want this applying to pretty much all my 10 gig interfaces with some exceptions. So I'm, I'm just going to click on Filter. And I'll type in the word 10 here, just to filter the list. And then I want it basically applied to all my 10, 10 gigabit interfaces. So I'm just gonna, I'm just clicking right down the list. And now in my specific environment, I also have four access points that are plugged into ports one, three, five, and seven. So basically the top four ports across my switch. Uh, so I'm going to remove those ports from the configuration because I don't want this going out to those access points. I just want it going to .1x uh, clients, and I don't have my AP set up for .1x in my environment, but you could do that. And so I remove those, so now I have a list of 20 ports that I want this setting to be applied to. So before I do that, let's check to see what my current values are. So on my 9300 switch here, I'll type in show run begin and let's say let's go to 10 0 10 just I'll start at interface 10. So as we can see my dot one max reauth request is set to five. Normally it's two. I set it to five just so you can see it on the list. Uh, if it was at the default value you wouldn't see this command at all. And so as you can see basically they're all just set to, to five here. And so now I'm ready to deploy. I'll just click on next and then this gives you some information about what's going to happen and uh, here you can see the template name is the max reauth request and I'll click on deploy and I'll apply the changes and it looks like the provisioning has started and just a second it should complete doesn't take mm, too long there it is it's successfully completed so let's go back to my switch and we'll just run that same command And you can see that the command is gone right now, because if you remember, the value was set to 2, uh, which is the default value. So let's go ahead and run this one more time, just so you can see it now adding in a new... So it took away the command and put it back to the default value of 2. And now we'll run it one more time to set it to a, a new value. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and provision again. So I'll select my switch, actions and provision, provision device. I select it. It remembers the last uh, switch ports that I selected previously. So now I'm going to set this to, let's say we'll set it to one. Just uh, crank it down one, one notch. And we'll deploy and apply. <clears throat> Again, I'll take just a second to complete. And it looks like it's done now. We'll check the switch again. And now we see that the .1x max reauth request is set to 1. So that just shows you how to loop through all of your interfaces and set a value uh, based on um, uh, using variables while you're provisioning your switch. Uh, thank you for watching.